Hey guys, my Mantis here, back with another YouTube video. So today we're going to be talking about Mantis euthanasia. So this is kind of like an iffy subject in the Mantis community, just because there's people with different opinions on it, and um, you know, I'm just here to let you guys know the way that I do it, and this is my preferred method. So I know of two methods that you can use to euthanize your Mantis, and I don't like using one of the methods just because it's, um, yeah, it's not the best way for uh, for a pet owner. So one of the methods that's recommended to be used is to just simply squish your mantis and That's obviously gonna kill them immediately But that's not something that a lot of pet owners want to do to their pet It's not a method that I like to recommend just because there are people that do keep them as just pets and they don't want to obviously crush their mantis so the method that I use is just placing your mantis in the freezer so placing your mantis in the freezer will just um, eventually just slow it down and it'll lose consciousness and then it'll pass away and I do recommend keeping your mantis in the freezer for at least a week um, I have heard of people putting the mantis in the freezer and then after a day they take it out and then the mantis starts moving again so you definitely don't want that to happen I went mantis hunting with one of my friends and I ended up finding a few mantises that I took home and two of them were female the males passed away right away just because they're males and it was already late in the season and Thankfully, I meted both of the girls that I'm about to euthanize today, um, and I have their Uthika outside ready to hatch in spring. So, um, the girls that I have, the females that I have with me did last a very long time. Obviously, if they had been outside in the wild, they would have already died a while ago. Um, but, you know, I think that they've had a great life with me here, being fed and you know, being in a nice enclosure, being inside in the warmth, and, you know, just enjoying a longer lifespan. So I, you know, I don't feel bad about cutting their life a little bit shorter, um, especially if they're not doing very well. I'll show you guys one of the mantises here. So I found her at the bottom of her enclosure and she's twitching and she's no longer eating and drinking. So I think it's just best for her to just, you know, be put out right now. Um, so I, I just don't want her to starve to death or, um, you know, it's just better for her to just be placed in the freezer at this time. But yeah, so, uh, we're gonna be saying goodbye to them today. Uh, one of them has already actually passed away. I found her in her enclosure and she was already gone. So I'm just gonna place her in the freezer just for preservation because I do like to pin my mantises sometimes. So I'm gonna keep her in there and then, um, I'll take her out later when I have time to pin her. And I'll do that and then I'll probably do the same thing with um, my other one here and uh, when I went mantis hunting with my friend uh, she did name both of these so the one that has already passed away she named Darcy and the one that is um, going to be placed in the freezer today uh, and will pass away uh, her name is Estelle it's always sad saying bye tree mantises but you know especially if it's your first mantis and you know this is the first time that you, that you have to do this but if you're gonna be in the hobby for a while, you're gonna have to do this every once in a while. It's sad seeing them go, but it's just it's just part of the hobby and it's just something that you're gonna have to do. Alright, so let's go ahead and place them in the freezer. 